can't see you. But it is me. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Um, let me think. What's something only I would know about you? Um, I know. You are very, very, very distantly related to the Cookie Monster. Hmm. That's true, but it still isn't back because I can't see you. <sighs> well, Jaffa, maybe if you took that hat off your head and uncovered your eyes, you might be able to see a little bit better. Oh, that's so much better. I can... It is back. Hi, Jaffa. Yes, it is me. Hi. But you know what, Jaffa? What? You don't need to see something to know that it's real. Well, how was I supposed to know it was you if I couldn't see you? Well, why don't I tell you about a guy called Thomas and what happened when he didn't believe what he couldn't see? Sounds pretty sensible to me. Well, Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples. But Thomas had seen Jesus die on the cross and get buried. But you know what? What? Three days later, his friends had told him that they'd seen Jesus walking around, that Jesus was alive. Well, of course he didn't believe that dead people don't come back to life. Look, that's true, Jaffa. And Thomas said to his friends, if I don't see the holes in his hands or, feel, or touch or feel the place where the spear went into Jesus' side, then I will not believe that Jesus has come back from the dead. Thomas sounds very smart if you ask me. Well, you see, that's not the end of the story. Well, what happened next? Thomas, a week later, was hanging out with his friends in a locked room when, guess what? What? Jesus shows up and is standing among them. What? But isn't Jesus supposed to be dead? Well, yeah, Jesus is supposed to be dead, but he's not. And you know what Jesus said to Thomas? Stop doubting, Thomas. Feel the holes in my hands and touch the spear in my side. Stop doubting and believe. And you know what? What? Thomas did that. And whoa, his mind was blown. He was amazed. I would be too. What? But, like, what happened then? Well, the Bible tells us that Thomas then said to Jesus, My Lord, my God. Why did he say that? Well, you see, as we've been saying, people don't usually come back from the dead. But the fact that Jesus did come back from the dead proves that Jesus is God. Well, that's fine for Thomas to believe. He saw it, but I haven't. Well, you know what, Jaffa? Jesus actually said to Thomas, You've believed because you've seen, but blessed are those who believe who haven't seen. It, is Jesus saying that Thomas shouldn't believe without any evidence? But Thomas did have evidence. Did he? Well, yeah. Not only had Thomas spent years walking around with Jesus, watching him do amazing things, and also been listening to Jesus talk about the fact that he was going to die and come back from the dead, but his friends had told him they'd seen Jesus. Shouldn't Thomas have listened to what his friends had said? Well, I guess. You know what, Jaffa? Do you believe that in the middle of Australia there is a massive big rock about the same colour you are called Uluru? Um, yeah. Have you ever been to Uluru? Uh, no. But, 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 I do have friends who have been there, and they've seen it, and I've heard stories, and I've heard people talk about it. But you haven't seen it? Uh, no. Exactly. You don't have to see something to know that it's true. You have all the evidence. Well, are you saying that even though I didn't, I haven't seen that Jesus has come back to life, I should still believe it, that Jesus did come back to life, and that he is really God? 
absolutely Jaffa. And don't just take Thomas's word for it or my word for it, but you can actually read about this in the Bible. There are four accounts from Jesus' friends talking about how Jesus died and then came back to life. Well, I, I want to read about that. Oh, well, why don't you give it a go? Here's a Bible. Thanks, Beck. Bye. Right. See ya.